Hello guys, I'm Dr. Ashwin Bhatt. Today we will discuss about pronator drift. It is also known as bearish sign. So, why to check pronator drift? It is a sign of stroke that is for mild stroke. If obvious weakness everyone can find but if there is a minor weakness we can find by testing the pronator drift. How to test? As shown in the figure, we will ask the patient to outstretch his both arms in front of him with palms facing upwards. As shown in the figure with that red line, if there is pause to drift, uh, pause to uh, drift, there will be pronation. So, what will we see during pronation? There will be a as shown in this figure, uh, this is a real patient. Uh, I will attach the video below. We can see uh, in this, there is, uh, in the right arm, we can see the pronation and elbow flexion and downward displacement of the arm. So, what we, we can see in the pronated drift, there, there will be pronation and flexion at elbow and downward drift of the entire arm. Why there is pronation? Means because of weakness of supinators why flexion means because of weakness of extensors why downward drift is adductor weakness then coming to pseudo drift in dominant hand there will be mild pronation without any flexion at the elbow and this is called pseudo drift coming to cerebellar drift there will be outward movement of the arm and what is parietal drift that is upward drift of the arm due to loss of position then what is downward drift without pronation this, that is due to non-organic weakness thank you guys please subscribe